The member time has expired. I call the member for Robertson. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Tomorrow, a start-up company will open its operations centre at Kuliwong, and I rise to congratulate Solar Monitoring Australia on their decision to base themselves in the heart of my electorate of Robertson on the central coast of New South Wales. It's a great local success story, a small business promoting leading edge technology, and tomorrow will be a great day for Solar Monitoring Australia and the wider central coast because their decision is a vote of confidence in our local economy and it's a great endorsement of the coalition's NBN rollout that's already delivering super-fast broadband to businesses and households on the central coast faster and more affordably than was the case under the previous Labor government. Mm -hmm. When new businesses arrive on the coast, I'm delighted to welcome them with open arms because we know it's not government that creates jobs, it's business that creates jobs. And while the number of jobs being injected into our local economy by Solar Monitoring Australia will be modest at first, at around six, they predict they'll expand to 16 employees over the next six months. And for a residential suburb like Kuliwong, on the shores of the beautiful Brisbane water, this is a genuine vote of confidence and opportunity. And it reflects on a wider scale what the coalition government's policies are delivering in terms of benefit and opportunities for people and businesses who want to invest on the Central Coast. Mr Deputy Speaker, just 15 minutes up the road in Gosford, this government is delivering 600 new jobs for Gosford in a purpose-built Commonwealth agency for the Australian Taxation Office, a centre of excellence on the Central Coast. The economic multiplier effect of this will be significant. In fact, yesterday's Daily Telly carried the headline that there will be a wave of jobs for our region with hundreds more employment opportunities to come from the flow and effect of this agency. 500 of these roles will be with the ATO, with an additional 100 jobs to come from other Commonwealth agencies that will reflect the right skill mix for our region. Just think of the demand for hundreds of more coffees, lunches, newspapers, haircuts and other retail and professional <coughs> business services for 600 more people working in Gosford every day. For a region, Mr Deputy Speaker, that has more than 30,000 communities in my electorate, this is a game changer for Central Coast families, a game changer for local businesses and a game changer for our region. There will be additional jobs generated in the construction of a purpose-built building for the ATO and with expressions of interest for the agency to, uh, to build the agency closing next month, we're already underway to delivering this important commitment. And this is great progress and great news for startups like Solar Monitoring Australia that has ambitions to grow from its base in Kuliwong. The company's research shows that solar installers and customers are asking more and more for the sort of services they provide. Solar Monitoring Australia provides a cloud-based online software platform that enables the remote management of solar equipment. It's Australian designed, developed and manufactured technology that aims to make it easy for installers and retailers to manage large fleets of residential and commercial, commercial solar PV systems through a single portal. They've set up their space in Kuluwong. They've already signed up a number of partners. But what's also significant about this investment is the vote of confidence that it represents in this government's commitment to delivering super-fast broadband on the Central Coast. In fact, I've been advised, Mr Deputy Speaker, that one of the main reasons the company chose this location is because of its access to the NBN. Fast broadband, we know it's crucial for small businesses like this, and thanks to this government's commitment to delivering faster and more, uh, to, to delivering uh, the NBN on the Central Coast faster and more affordably than under Labor, we have seen decisions like this from great companies like Solar Monitoring Australia. You know, recently another 25 suburbs have been included in the national rollout on the Central Coast, in addition to suburbs like Point Clare, Kuliwong and Tascot, which were announced in April this year. And this means that superfast broadband is now a giant step closer to reality for tens of thousands more households and businesses on the Central Coast. Contrast that with the previous Labor government's record of 203 premises connected in the six years they were in government, Mr Deputy Speaker. Over the coming weeks, people can expect to see workers out in their street planning the new network to get the rollout closer to completion. They can take confidence that other companies are looking to invest in the coast, and I'm looking forward to telling more success stories to the House about local businesses like these in the near future. 
So congratulations to co-founders Mark Lockie and Mark Elliott for backing the Central Coast because they chose the coast ahead of locations like Queensland because they could see the benefits and opportunities for our region's growth. They've indicated they can link up with programs being offered by the University of Newcastle, and this government is all about generating the sorts of job opportunities that we have seen with a decision like this today. Thank the member for Robertson. The question is that the motion be agreed to. 